subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs> sure, hero. Let's play fetch. I brought some snacks. Yummy. Huh? Oh, uh, again? Fetch! For Hero? Uh oh, something's up. What is it, Hero? Where's your ball? That's Hero's ball? It looks. Ew, and smells a little different. That's not his ball. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. See if you can find out more about this stinky ball. I'm already on it. Just as I suspected, the ball is actually a dung ball. A dung ball? Dung balls are made by dung beetles. These beetles gather dung by rolling it into a ball so they can roll the balls back to their nests. What? Why would they do that? Well, the dung balls they make are either used by female dung beetles to lay eggs in or as food. Food? Yuck! Well, dung is important to dung beetles. But not all dung beetles make dung balls. There are three different types of dung beetles. Rollers, tunnelers, and twirlers. Rollers roll dung into a ball, while tunnelers bury their dung by digging underneath it. Dwellers live in the dung itself. So this belongs to a roller dung beetle. It probably mistook Hero's ball for its dung ball and rolled it away. It's okay, Hero. We'll get you a new one. <laughs> you just want your old ball back, huh? I guess there's no other way. We have to help Hero get his ball back. I think he smells something. Yeah, the smell of dung everywhere. Hey, that's my fertilizer you guys are using. Don't worry, Farah. We'll get more for you later. I guess the smell is a little too overwhelming for Hero. It's okay, Hero. We'll come up with another way to find your ball. But how? There are so many beetles. How will we ever find Hero's ball? It looks like it's time for a good old-fashioned search party. Let's split up. Hero and I will look over there. And Farah and I will look over there. All right, Rangers. Let's find Hero's ball. You're not going to try to go over that, are you? Silly beetle, you can go around it, you know. But here, let me help you. If you walk around but first, you'll just keep bumping into things. Do you even know where you're going? They do know. Huh? Dung beetles are actually very good at navigation. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Dung beetles have a special way of navigation. It's okay if they walk butt first. They don't need to look around at things on the ground because they do not navigate using landmarks. Instead, they navigate using the sun during the day. And at night, they use the stars in the sky, just like sailors used to do in the past. Hmm. Aha! I have to go that way. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. No. Nope. Just a dung ball. <gasps> a star? That's it! Hero, over there! That's not your ball, little friend. It's Heroes. Can we have it back, please? Oh no! The ball! <gasps> not the beetle, too! Hero, it's headed right for that cliff! Jetpack, activate! We've gotta do something! Coming! 
through! Over here! All right! We're all here! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Ugh. It's not working! I'll get the beetle! Right behind you! Just a really short drop. <laughs> <laughs> Great catch, Farah. Thanks, guys. Thank you for taking the express route, little beetle. You've reached your destination. Please exit on the left. Don't worry. We're not going to let you leave empty-handed. Here's a dumb ball. Now the dung beetle has its dung ball, and Hero found his ball. Good job, Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, we better get that ball cleaned up. Mission accomplished. Embark on an incredible adventure with Leo the Wildlife Ranger. Choose a level. Dive into thrilling challenges and solve fun puzzles, all while exploring the wonders of nature. Tons of captivating gameplay and educational content await as you help Mother Nature and save the Earth. Introducing offline play and watch videos on the go. Leo the Wildlife Ranger Kids Games app, where adventure and learning collide. Download now and let the journey begin. Ah! What's My that? eyes! I can't see a thing! Is, is everybody all right? I'm fine. Just a little blinded. What was that bright flash of light? Leo, Katie, I'm so sorry. I thought you guys were rare animals. Hi, Hero. Are you all right? You <laughs> should have known it was you, Kai. Why did you ask us to meet you here? There's an animal photography competition coming up. I need your help to find a rare, beautiful animal so I can take the winning photo. But what's with the drone and the blinding flash? Oh, this is the Chimera 1000. Cool. <laughs> did you guys see that? What was that? That's my winning photo! Come on, Chimera 1000, do your thing! Let's see! It's just a bunch of colors! The photo looks blurred. We should remove the motion blur to see what's really there. Hmm, fine. I'll see what I can do. But I'm telling you, we're looking at a photo of an actual... Huh? What type of bird is it? Send the photo to me, Kai. I'll search for more information. Sure, Katie. One photo of the bird coming right up. It seems the bird is a male golden pheasant. Male golden pheasants are really colorful, while female golden pheasants are just brown in color. Golden pheasants are clumsy flyers. They prefer running instead of flying and spend most of their time on the ground. Some believe that golden pheasants bring good luck. <laughs> That'll get me a first prize. I must take a photo of the golden pheasant. But how are we going to find him? From what we've seen, he's pretty quick. <coughs> huh? What's that, Hero? A feather? Not just any feather. It belongs to the golden pheasant. <coughs> Look, more feathers. I bet if we follow these feathers, they'll lead us right to him. No, the golden pheasant can't be seen in any of the photos. That's okay. I'm sure we'll find him again. We'll get you your winning photo. Thanks, Leo. But the only way we can take a picture of him is if he stays still. Hmm. What if we got him to dance instead? Dance? dance? It says here that when a male golden pheasant wants to get the attention of a female golden pheasant, it dances. That's another way to stop him from running. 
But where are we going to find a female golden pheasant? That's him! Hide! It worked! He's approaching Hero. Okay, Hero. It's all up to you now. Try to look friendlier. He's getting closer. Can you try shaking your feathers, Hero? <laughs> I think he likes Hero. Now's your chance, Kai. It's a little dark here, so I'll have to raise the flash. Say cheese. No! Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky! <laughs> no! My winning photo! Where did the pheasant go? It's up in the trees, Leo. You see, golden pheasants are timid and shy. They might not be able to fly gracefully, but when startled, they can jump upwards really quickly. But why did you stop me from taking a photo of it? It wasn't the photo that was the problem. It was the flash. Golden pheasants can lose their colors if they're exposed to light for too long. Your camera flash might last for only a second, but for a bird that lives outdoors, every second makes a difference. I'll be on my way now, Junior Rangers. But remember, no flash photography allowed. Got it. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. So that's why the golden pheasant runs from bush to bush. Not only does he have to stay out of the light, he's always afraid. And we sure didn't help. Let's make it up to the pheasant, Rangers. Just have to turn this on and it's done. Great. But what is it? And how is this going to help the golden pheasant get around the forest? Presenting the Kymaflage Cloak. It creates an energy field that reflects whatever's around you, so you blend right in. It'll protect the pheasant from light rays, and it grants him the power of invisibility. Wow! No way! Prepare to be amazed. All you have to do is click your feet together like this. <gasps> he disappeared! <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Your camouflage cloak is amazing, Kai. Now you can turn invisible whenever you like. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You can even walk under the sun. So, can I take a photo of you now? I promise, no flash. Uh-oh. The pheasant used the camouflage cloak on us. Oh, no! How are we going to find him now? He's invisible. Come out! I thought we had a deal. How are we going to take a photo of an invisible bird? Do you see her, Leo? No. I hope Farah's okay. Me too. She wanted us to come right away. Did you hear something? <gasps> ah! Leo, Katie, thank goodness you're here. Fara. Fara. Ugh, seaweed. Where's my handbook? Ah, here it is. We got your message about an intense fight underwater. Are you okay? What happened? I'm okay, but it's chaotic down there. They're still fighting. Let's go stop them. No, it's too dangerous. I barely escaped. Who or what is having that fight? Is it a shark? A giant squid? A shark fighting a giant squid? It's worse. I can't even bring myself to tell you what they are. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out exactly what we're dealing with from a safe distance. Hero, can we use your camera? Good idea, Leo. 
I'll help control it with my tablet. Okay, now let's see what we've got. I don't see anything. Just a little to the left? Hmm, try going to the right instead. There, there they are! What? Where? Go closer! Going closer. Huh? Shrimps? shrimps? Angry, fighting shrimps. That's it. I thought they'd be bigger. What exactly are they? Let's find out. These are no ordinary shrimps. Peacock mantis shrimps are a type of crustacean. That means they have hard outer shells. Are they dangerous? Far is right. They may be small, but mantis shrimps can be aggressive. They're armed with special weapons of their own. There are two types of mantis shrimps, the smashers and the spearers. Smashers have front claws that are tipped with something that looks like a hammer. These shrimps pack a punch. They use their hammer-like claws to smash things. Spearers have sharp points at the end of their claws, like a little spear. They use that to poke things. Are peacock mantis shrimps smashers or spearers? Oh no, they're at it again. Whoa, that was fast. But if we slow the footage down, we can see that peacock mantis shrimps are... Smashers! No, no, no! According to my handbook, chapter four, page two, animals shouldn't be smashing each other! Don't worry, Farah. We'll break up the fight. <gasps> oh no! The camera! <laughs> it's okay, Hero. I'll get it back for you. Ugh, I can't see a thing. The camera is not responding. Let's turn Platypus 1 into a giant mantis shrimp. When those tiny mantis shrimps see how big it is, they'll be so scared that they'll forget all about their fight. Are you sure you want to do that? What if the mantis shrimp breaks something? Don't worry, Farah. I think Platypus 1 can take on a couple of shrimpy shrimps. Okay, guys, let's turn Platypus 1 into an unbeatable mantis shrimp monster. Ready, Farah? Yeah! Now! Roar! 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 It's working! We got their attention! Good job, Farah! I'm bringing us closer. Roger that, Leo! Roar, shrimps! Break it up! Break it up! Huh? huh? Why are they swimming towards us? working as a team now. That's right. Go home. No more violence for you two. Yes, we got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together. That's great for them, but not for us. Look! Uh-oh, time to get out of here. Hang on tight, Farah. <sighs> we made it out alive. I'll never underestimate shrimps again. Are you okay back there, Farah? Rawr! Rawr! Oops, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.